In this video of Tableau Do-It-Yourself Tutorials by Bharti W Consultancy, we are going to talk about Windows Functions. In this video, we will see how to create visualizations with Windows Functions. So you want to use the same Tableau TW file as you have used in video number one. And then I'm going to use create a new sheet and type it as DIY with 14. So go to Tableau, add a new sheet and type it DIY with 14. Drag and drop the country and the location dimensions in the rows shelf. So country and location. As mentioned earlier, when I say country, it's customer country. And location in the rows area, sorry, rows area. Next, drag and drop the sales cost to the marks text area. So sales cost to the text area and you can see the numbers here. From the analysis menu, create a new calculated field known as calc window func. So let's do that. From the analysis menu, create calculated field and type the name calc window func. So type the following function. This is window sum function. And I'm going to tell you what the window sum function would do. So for now, let's use this function, but only type minus one to one. Let's see what I'm trying to do here. So go back to Tableau, type this function, and instead of 3 and minus 3, type minus 1 and 0. You can see that calculation is valid. Click on OK. You would see the calc window function here. Drag and drop to the columns. I'm sorry. So when you double click it, it's going to come here, but then you're going to drag and drop it on the right side. So this is my window function. So minus one and one means that it's going to take the previous value and the current value. So see here in this example, you have 10,780. It's going to give 10,780 because there is nothing be before it here. It's going to give you 21.816 plus 10.780. It's 32.596. Next, it's going to keep adding the values. So 9 plus 4 is 14. And then 32 plus 9 sorry 21 816 plus 9 is 31 9548 plus 4870 is 14 then 4870 plus 14 is 19 zero, five, eight. so minus 1 and 0 is going to add the current and the previous value so this is the current added to the previous is this value this is the current added to the previous value is this value this value added to the previous value is this value. That's how a window function would work. Okay, so let's change it as per our exercise, which tells me to change it minus three and three. So it's going to go back three months and go forward three months. So let's do that. Let's not do three for now. Let's edit the calc window, if 
function and do minus 1 and 1 just to give a better understanding. So this is a sum of previous one, the current and the future one which is 32596. This one is going to be an addition of 10,000 plus 21,000 plus 9,000 which is 42,000. This would be a calculation of this, the previous plus current plus future is 36. That's how the window functions work. So drag and drop the calc window function to the sheet and let's do the following hands on. So before doing the hands on, can we use windows average? Let's do windows average too. So I'm going to change this and I'm going to say let's use windows average function let's see if it works right so go here create a new measure analysis create calculated value and give this function windows average and i'm gonna say calc win avg Click on OK and where is our function here? So this is your Windows average function. It's going to take an average of these two values. So this is 32 average is 16. This is 42 which is the calculation of this plus this and this which is 14. That's how a window average min and sum calculations work all right so times for time for hands-on exercises so in this exercise we are going to do the windows function calculation for sum it says minus 6 to plus 6 when you are doing it start from minus 1 to 0 then minus 1 to 1 to minus 2 to 2 and then on you reach minus 6 and the same for profit and loss. It's going to give you a better understanding of the windows function. Again, this exercise deals with the minus 6 and 6 as you have done in the previous one. But then, can you make it as a dual axis? Try making the whole function as a dual axis chart and see how it looks like. Thank you for watching.